a Christian. Of course I do Sunday worship instead of honoring the Sabbath day that the Father has set apart for his children. I'm a Christian. Of course I live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of Paul and not every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Father. Duh. I'm a Christian. Of course I keep all the pagan holidays and I will not bat an eye at any of the Father's holy days. I mean like, what Christian does that? I'm a Christian. Of course I eat pork and seafood and even an ass of an alligator. Now I am aware that the Father said he's going to consume all those who eat that at the same time, but I'm going to eat it anyways because I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. Although the Father has increased his knowledge, just like he promised in the end times, I'm going to proceed to call him Jesus and God because those are the traditions of men that I love. It truly doesn't matter how important he said that his son's name is. It's all about how I feel because I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. Of course, I'm waiting on the rapture instead of waiting on the second exodus that the Father himself is about to perform at this time. So yeah, I'm going to ignore the fact that in Matthew 24, he says that he's going to come after the tribulation. So I'm just still going to prepare and wait for him before the tribulation because... I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. Of course, I believe that we, the church, have replaced his true children, Israel. The Father himself chased them down from Genesis to Revelation with cruel chastisement and punishments to get them to act right. I mean, it was all for nothing because it's clearly always been about us. <laughs> I'm a Christian. I know that the scripture says that Satan deceives the entire world, but that does not apply to me because <laughs> I'm a Christian. Duh. Now, I don't always agree with Hebrew Israelites. Most of the time, I disagree with them. But when it comes to comparing people who tote around this book, this Bible, I then agree with Hebrew Israelites in their critique of Christians. I will give the Hebrew Israelite at least the credit of recognizing that the God of the Old Testament is the God for them to be able to follow and that they should still be recognizing what that God said. You have heard me say it on many videos that if people truly were Christians and their Jesus said that he come not to take one tittle, not one tittle away from the Old Testament, that he did not come to abolish the law, that you are still supposed to follow the commandments. So why aren't you worshiping the holy days, the holy festivals? According to the Old Testament, these are supposed to be perpetual forever. Why aren't Aaron, Aaron's line, the priestly line that are still supposed to be your priest because it makes you feel better because you want to think that everybody can be a priest when your God said that no it is only through the line of Aaron it makes you feel better as a Christian to be able to take the fact that Constantine is the one who changed your holy worship day from Saturday to Sunday and really it's sundown Friday to sundown Saturday but Constantine changed it in 318 and oh no he changed it at the council of nicaea in 325 because he wanted all of rome to worship on the exact same day and since most of rome were sun worshipers whether it was apollo or sol invictus or mithra they wanted to make sure that it was on a sunday keep down problems in the roman empire that was the purpose and of course you can use the fact that he told one disciple one time to eat all the food, don't worry about it, and that Jesus said that it's not what goes in your mouth that defiles the body, but what comes out, and you use that as an excuse for you to be able to ignore the Levitical diet. Of course, because you want to be Christian, because it suits your current culture, and it suited the culture of the Roman Empire at the time frame that Christianity became the sole religion of the Roman Empire in 381 under the Emperor Theodosius. So I agree with this young lady in the fact that Christians have made the Bible fit them and not them fitting the Bible because the Old Testament is part of their Bible. That even Paulinian Christianity is more readily followed than the teachings of your Jesus. There are many things that Jesus and Paul were against. Paul just said all you got to do is believe, that believing is enough. Whereas Jesus was telling you, you know, you got to do some work and keep them damn commandments. But it's easier for y'all to follow Paulinian Christianity and to listen to Paul. In most churches, the writings of Paul are taught more than the writing than what is attributed, because Jesus didn't write nothing, than is attributed to Jesus. And the fact that y'all are sitting up here thinking that. And this used to bother me as a Christian. I ain't gonna lie, I used to argue with pastors with this one all the time, and oftentimes I would win, and I was still Christian. But I would argue with pastors in the fact that there is no rapture that happens before the tribulation. You see, I recognized back then that 
the rapture is something that happens after the seven years go by and then there is a rapture because otherwise Jesus will be coming back three times the other aspect of it is that it doesn't indicate that there is going to be a rapture prior to the tribulation that you're going to be in the midst of it so I used to encourage pastors that if we think that the end time is near then why aren't we setting up systems so that Christians will be able to survive during that last three and a half years when if you didn't take the mark of the beast you could not buy or sell this is when I didn't understand what that actually meant I didn't understand that it actually meant that it was for Romans to have to have a seal to buy and sell products to civilians kind of in the same way that you have to have a business license in order to buy and sell buy wholesale and sell retail to the population I didn't realize the difference because at that time frame I didn't realize that Revelation was actually talking about Nero coming back and retaking the Roman Empire and how he would treat Christians and Romans and everybody else I didn't realize that at the time but when you have the mindset that this is a real thing for us today then you think why wouldn't you have a system why aren't we building uh, an underground network so that we're prepared to be able to survive through that three and a half years that was my argument to Christians at the time frame as a Christian but y'all think that you're going to be raptured up so you're not concerned about it it just shows lazy human behavior because when you look at almost everything in your life that you have right now and all the negative things and how they outweigh more of your positive things it's simply because people are lazy and don't want to do the work necessary in order to have a more positive life all it takes is the work and doing the work so yeah I don't often agree with a Hebrew Israelite but in this instance I'm like 99% in agreement with this young lady so y'all have a great day and remember always you got to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable good journey good vibration